Hello everyone, Logan back again with another video. As you can see in the description, today is another defunct video about the Minnesota North Stars. Now, if you're my age and you were born at the turn or the beginning of the turn of the millennium, you don't remember the North Stars, you just know the Dallas Stars. Because that's who the North Stars became. And they were around for about 26 years, so not quite three decades. And they have an interesting history. And as you know, in 1993, after the 1993 season, they moved to Dallas. And the rest is history. And we'll get into that. Um, and I also recently got a Minnesota... Star, uh, Minnesota Stars. I got a Minnesota Wild jersey, and I also picked up a Blue Jackets jersey, so I wish I waited to make my Cleveland Barons video so I could have an Ohio team when I did a video about an Ohio team, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. I'm, I like the video, so I'm not going to redo it. Um, so, the Minnesota North Stars were around for 26 seasons. So, from 1970-something, somewhere in there, until 1993, um, they were a team. And they had an interesting run. Not a bad run. I wouldn't call it bad. It's not a uh, Quebec-Hartford situation where they came into the league and they didn't have good records or something like that. Overall, it was a great run. I wouldn't call it perfect, I wouldn't call it awful, but it was good for what it was. It was a nice run. And they had two shots at the Stanley Cup, and we'll get into that. Um, so, they had a total of 2,062 games played. They won 758 of those, they lost 970, and they had 334 ties. Remember, this is before overtime and regulation games. I mean, non-postseason uh, non games. And the, the shootout was a long ways away from being a thing. Um, they Their attendance has always been kind of floppy. Uh, it's it's weird, though. I'll, I'll get into this. Um, I marked down their best season and their worst season attendance-wise. And uh, Their best season was the 72-73 season where they had 15,264 people in attendance on average. Uh, they were a first round exit. Uh, they were the first round exit um, that year, and uh, they they didn't have a great record, but they still they made the playoffs. Um, and in 1990 to 91, they had their worst record, which was 7,838 on average. That's almost 10,000 less than they had. Uh, comparing to their best attendance record. And what's funny about that is their worst attendance on average was also a year they made the finals. Think about that. Imagine now you go to TD Garden and there's only 7,800 people there. That is hard to think about because you can't imagine a building being that empty. And I know 7,800 people seems like a lot, but when you put them in a big arena like that, it makes it look very empty. Look at Carolina before they started getting big with the storm surge and the bunch of jerks and all that stuff going on. Um, so overall, with everything going on with attendance, it's weird that a team that made the finals at that, that point had a horrible attendance record. And I don't quite understand it, but, you know... Hockey gods work in mysterious ways. Now, some notable players, of course, got to mention Mike Medano. He was on the 99 Stanley Cup team in Dallas because, you know, he moved over to Dallas with the North Stars. Um, Bobby Smith, Dan Quinn, Dan Pulin, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that, Mitch Messier, Mike McPhee, Pat McLeod, and... Bob Barlow. Those are very notable players. Um, and they had the best records for that team from what I saw on Hockey Database. That's where I get most of my information from along with other video sources such as video archives from that time period and things like that that you can find online. Um, they had 17 playoff appearances and two finals appearances. 
They appeared in the finals in 1981, and they lost to the Oilers in five. They won one, the Oilers just won four. <laughs> I, I meant the Islanders. Sorry, I just had to correct myself. Um, the Islanders in the early 80s were an unstoppable force. And then the Oilers took over. Sorry, I get those two mixed up because they were both just dominant in the 80s. The 80s was just straight Oilers in this half and Islanders in this half and then the Flames win in 89. That's how it was pretty much. It, it was, I wasn't there, but it was a crazy time because that's back when you could have dynasties. And the closest we've had to dynasties in this era is the Penguins and the Blackhawks, which are both teams that as a fan not a person making these kind of videos. I don't really care for them. I'm a Bruins fan and a Capitals fan. Uh, I'm not a big Penguins, Blackhawks guy. 2013. That's all I need to say there. Um, but in their second playoff appearance in 1991, which is also the year they had the worst attendance they've ever had on average, they lost in six to the Penguins, and this is when they had the back-to-back -back goal, back-to-back uh, -back Stanley Cups in the in the uh, early '90s. And um, at this point, the North Stars organization was getting rumors spread around about them trading, about them relocating, and so on and so forth. And eventually, they would move to Dallas two years after that finals run. Some notable coaches are Jack Gordon, who was their coach when they had when they made several appearances in finals, not finals, but conference finals, second, excuse me, second round, things like that. Uh, Glenn Sonman, I want to say that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if that's wrong. Uh, they, he got the team to the finals the first time they made it to the finals, and he also made got them to the Adams Division Finals twice. So, good on him. Uh, Bob Gainey got them to the Finals. Bill Mahoney got them to the Adams Division Finals three times, and also they had a second round exit with him. And they also missed the playoffs with him. And after all this said, they moved to Dallas, where they became the Dallas Stars. And six years after their move, they would win the Stanley Cup. And if you're a Buffalo fan, they didn't win the Stanley Cup. If you're a Dallas fan, they won the Stanley Cup. I think most people unanimously agree that they won the Stanley Cup because that, that goal crease rule that was in, implemented at that point was god-awful. One of the worst goals in the NHL. I mean, one of the worst rules the NHL has ever placed. And overall, it just it happened. You know, the the franchise won a cup, and good for them. They had a really nice shot this playoff season. But St. Louis made a fantastic comeback. And now they're playing my Bruins. So, yeah, I can't really cheer for them right now. I like them. Um, goal, their goal song, Gloria, it's an interesting choice. It's definitely not Zombie Nation. It's definitely not shipping up to Boston. But it's an interesting goal song choice. So, why do I think the Minnesota North Stars moved to Dallas? I, I ask myself this question in every Defunct video. Why do I think they moved? Why do I think they folded? Whatever it may be. I think the answer comes down to one word. Money. They saw money in Dallas that they didn't see in Minnesota because of the team attendance, the team's records, the team's failure to win a cup twice. And overall, the team just was not as promising as the NHL would like them to be. So Dallas is like, hey, come on down. We got an arena. We can put a team here. And so after the North Stars changed their name to just the, the Minnesota Stars, they moved to Dallas and were arguably way more successful in Dallas. So, think these things happen. 
whether it's a story of the Hartford Whalers, which I am redoing my Whalers video. I made it last year because I'm not happy with how it turned out at all. <laughs> it was a very bad and misinformed video. Um, whether it be a Hartford situation where the owner was greedy, or whether it be a Quebec situation where the team sucked and they had to move because money, or whether it be a situation with the Thrashers where they were a failure and Winnipeg arguably lost the team unfairly and the Thrashers moved to Winnipeg and made Winnipeg 2.0 as I like to call it. So and all of a sudden, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you remember the North Stars, if you know somebody that remembers the North Stars, if you have any North Stars memorabilia, let me know. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, dislike, leave some criticism. I'm open to it. If you have any pointers you'd like to give me or any facts that I may have missed, feel free to let me know. I fully embrace that. Uh, I'm Logan, you're the audience, and better watch the Stanley Cup Finals. It's going to be a good one. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.